We're ready. Hey guys, Jay Wilson here, welcoming, ba welcoming you back to another, what should I call these? Domo Dojo Video Explanation Videos. I've been doing enough of these, I should have a good name for it by now. Um, so I'm responding to a question that was kind of raised back on the 9th of April by Moses. Um, not because I didn't answer in a reasonable amount of time, but because there was a follow-up question from Mr. Wagner asking for a video response, basically. The gist of the question Moses raised was, he, he said, look, Jay, uh, I've got a set of data here. And basically what I want to produce is the equivalent of something like, I want to see the top three salespeople per region. I've got one, two, three, four regions, and I've got, I want to show the top three salespersons per region. How can I get that done? Now, Carter, I assume their name is Carter. Uh, Carter came in here and recommended, hey, you can use the data table filter to set the number of rows that you display. And so you could set that to, what is this, one, two, three, four, four times three is 12 rows. You could set that to 12 rows to limit you to the top 12, uh, let's assume these are salespeople. And that will technically work. However, um, Moses was looking for that distributed as the top three salespeople across four regions, and this method won't get that done. So the solution that I uh, recommended was to use a windowed function to create a rank function where you calculate the rank of that salesperson within their region. And so for each salesperson, I would get like one, two, three, four, five, and so on. And basically the gist of it is, is if your rank is greater than three or whatever the cutoff is, then I make it an absurdly high or an absurdly low rank and then use that as a sort order to filter out the data. But what's important to understand, and I think this is, this is like a nuance that you don't really need to know, but it is ultimately true, is this limit function here, um, this is actually adding a limit, and the limit just says keep the first n number of rows, and it's not the same as applying a filter. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the limit functionality to limit ourselves to 12 rows, as opposed to a filter function that says give me the top n ranks. I don't know why I'm spending so much time on that nuance. At the end of the day, Jay, the result will be the same. We get an answer, but I don't know. I nerd out about these things understand what your data is doing or something. Um, am I going to get a preview? OK, so I've created my dummy data set here in Domo. And in my case, I've got category 1. And then I've got a column called rank category. Let's assume rank category is your salesperson ID. And category 1 is your region. We've got regions A, B, and C. Now, um, I've got. Oh, it occurs to me this is not extreme enough to do what I want it to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm also going to mess with my values for B. I'll make you 5,005. I will make you 2,200. That's that, I can read numbers. And let's make you suitably high as well. I think that will be, OK. So uh, I was messing with the numbers because I want to demonstrate the difference between that limit and filter. Or rather, I want to demonstrate why the sorting uh, won't work. Stay with me here. I got you. Uh, so we're going to start by making ourselves a good old fashioned table, a standard HTML table. Um, I've got category one on the axis. We'll keep that. Um, I'll take out my aggregate for what should be called salesperson. Let me relabel this salesperson ID. All right. And then I'll show the sum of sales. Now, what you can do today, right now, is you could drag the sum of sales in the sort order. You could sort descending. And like I said, you could limit yourself to 12 rows. Now, let's see what that gives us. It gives us. Um, one, two, three rows of A, and one, two, three, I should have six, sorry. 
I want t two from each category. Uh, so what that does is it gives me one, two, three rows for B and one, two, three rows for A because the, the, the data in region C is so small that even my first place um, salesperson in, in C and second place salesperson C are just not on the scale with uh, categories A and B. And so that is why just um, adding a sort order and then limiting the rows by six isn't quite going to give us what we want. It doesn't give us that distribution that includes um, salespersons, uh, the top two salespersons from each region. Cool. So let's get in there and let's see if we can't figure out what my salesperson ranks are. So the rank function, again, is a windowed function. So every time you use a windowed function, you need an over clause. And so in this case, we're going to say, I want to give you a rank. How do you calculate the rank? We're going to calculate the rank as a sum of sales, ordered descending. So I need order by clause. Cool. I need to put my face someplace where it's not in the way. All right. Uh, cool, let's put that in there now. So I've got category one, I've got rank category, which is also salesperson, and then I have your overall rank. Let me take out my limit, and let's make sure this passes the sniff test. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, all the way through. Um, and are these numbers in descending order? Yes, perfect. Now I have the rank, but what I really want is I want the rank partitioned by or the rank per category one. So to get that per category one, we'll add in partition by cat one. So what I want to see at the end of this is one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Let me take out the sort order in here. And uh, so I, da, 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 da. let's do no aggregation. Okay, so here's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. I can see the rank resets for each category. Now, what your gut instinct says is you say, okay, Jay, now I want to take rank and drop it into a filter and filter out and only keep rows where the rank is less than or equal to two. And it says aggregations are not supported in filters. There is a feature switch that can allow you to use filters and aggregation, sorry, aggregations in filters, and aggregation being like the sum of amount or a rank. There is a feature switch that will allow you to do that, but when possible, I recommend that you avoid using these special feature switches that may or may not have been fully developed and integrated into Analyzer. So what I'm going to do is instead is I'm going to apply logic. So if the rank is greater than two, then I want to make the rank a thousand. Then I will sort by the rank ascending and apply the limit so that I only keep the first n rows. What? What did I just say? I said I want to apply a case statement. So case, when the rank is greater than two, then make the number absurd. Else, uh, return the rank. Ooh, I hope that works. So what I want to see is I have rank one, two, one thousand, one, two, one thousand, one, two, one thousand. Cool. Now I'm going to change the sort order to the rank. And so now, the salesperson, thir the third ranked salesperson, salesperson three, will be in the bottom of my table because I've applied an explicit sort order. So now I can limit myself to six rows, and I guarantee that I will have two rows for B, two rows for A, two rows for C. So I get that distribution that I wanted. Now you might say, but Jay, I want to have it ordered by category one, da 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 da. Here's where you use your mega table, and then you enforce the sort order that you want. So I want to sort by category A. Will it allow me to have a nested sort? Looks like it. And that's the solution. 
again, the thing to understand here was that really important distinction. We did not filter on a rank. We sorted by a rank. And then we used the limit function functionality to eliminate the bottom three rows from my data set. They're still there. It's I didn't apply a, a filter. I just added a limit. Cool. That's the end of the solution. Uh, Mr. Wagner, I hope that helps you. My name's Jay Wilson. Uh, I, I'm available on the dojo. Come, come to me with your questions. We'll try to get you an answer as quickly as we can. Cheers. Catch you guys later.